Kara Cesario is our product manager for the Optima LCMS solvents and products. Kara, here at the ASMS show, we're talking about transforming our customers' science and their research. Tell us why it's so important in terms of the chemicals and the solvents they're using in their work. Limits of detection keep getting lower and lower, and it's such a crucial thing that our customers are using the right tool for the right application. So what we offer is Optima LCMS solvents and additional products that are tested for use in both LC and MS. And what's the product portfolio and range that people should know about? We have the four key solvents, acetonitrile, methanol, water, and isopropanol. And then we also have blended solvents, so that means we take our Optima LCMS acids, such as formic acid or TFA, and pre-blend them in acetonitrile or water. This is going to save customers time and money. They're going to be spending their time on doing research rather than making reagents. And then also, if they so desire to make their own blend, we also offer these acids in ampules, so they can, they can make a customized blend. They can access through our specialized chemical services. What this is that they can contact uh, our organization and ask, tell us exactly what they need and we can put together a blend that suits their LCMS needs. So are there any major upgrades or extensions that we should know about? We've taken our Optima LCMS product line and we've actually made some really important upgrades to them. The first is that these products are now suitable for UHPLC. So now you have a solvent that has dual functionality and the reason why it's good for UHPLC now is because it's been filtered through point one pot micron filter or less depending on the product and this is great for not clogging up columns for UHPLC or other components so now there's going to be less maintenance for the instrument. That's one crucial piece. And the other one that I'd really like to bring up is that we've taken our LC UV gradient spec and have totally modified it. This is truly unprecedented and a novel specification on these types of products. What we used to do and what our competitors do is they're looking at UV absorption impurities at single channel, so either at 210 or 254 nanometers. But that, that can be an issue if your lambda max for the analyte of interest is absorbing at a different wavelength. So what we've done is we've used a PDA detector and we're scanning the entire UV range from 200 to 400. So this will allow customers to have a more specific solvent for, for what they need. And then finally, we've also upgraded our uh, mass spec specifications too. So this is now more in line with what customers are using. So we have new mass spec standards, which are chromophores. We use propazine in the positive mode, mecoprop in the negative mode. And this is great because these these standards are also, they ionize in neutral conditions as well as acidic conditions, and this is really going to make uh, a big impact on our, our customers' applications. Learn more at fisherside.com slash chemicals.